Now, if you're a follower of Jesus, okay, you have the Holy Spirit. This is what it's like, though, for some people. Not all of you, of course, but some of you. It's like getting married and then having your spouse living with you in your house, and then you get so busy with life, you actually don't engage with that person living in your house. That happens sometimes. I mean, Alicia and I went through some seasons, not when we were first married, but a little later on. We had some kids. I was extremely busy with my career. I mean, we were literally living in the same house, but very, very little engagement with each other. I was going my way. She's going her way. I was busy. She was busy. You know, we come home to sleep for a couple hours and off we go again. You know, I come home at 12, maybe one o'clock, and I'm gone by five because I got to get back to work. And I'm telling you, I've been through seasons like that where you can actually live in the same house and almost be unaware. And that's not, wasn't good for my marriage. And so we had to, I had to put, we had to put really good boundaries. That's a whole nother message. But God saved our marriage, right? We're here. But, uh, but I'm telling you that if during that time someone would ask me, you can see I'm married, I have a ring. What's your conversation with your wife this week? I'd have to be embarrassed and go, eh, we didn't really have a conversation. We're just surviving. Take that and switch it over to your walk with Jesus. There's someone else living in your house. His name is Holy Spirit. What's been your engagement with him this week? What's been your conversation? Uh, uh, or deer in the headlights look. You see that look on some people's faces. I, I'm not bashing you. I'm calling you to hunger. <laughs> I love you so much. You hear me? Good, because I'm not here to bash you. I'm calling you into an experience. But that's what it's like. I'm not saying you're not a believer. I'm saying that you are. And I'm saying that you have the Holy Spirit. And I might be saying that you pay very little attention to him, even though he's been living within you since you said yes to Jesus. And so empowered, by the way, all of that's called the indwelling ministry of the Holy Spirit. If you want a technical term for it, that's what's in the books that we read and all that's The indwelling ministry of the Holy Spirit, it's automatic. It's, yeah, it's there, it's yes and amen. And he comes to live inside of you. Now the empowering of the Holy Spirit is a little different and there is a more experience. And that's where you go, you start engaging. Another way to say it is how are you 100% aware of who's living inside of you? Have you engaged with him? And then it leads to like a place of empowerment. And now you're not living out of your own strength, but you're living with the power of the Holy Spirit and all the stuff that I've talked about, the gifts of the Spirit. It's impossible to do that when you're just living life on your own with a simple belief system. Yeah, I'm a Christian. Well, it takes interaction and engagement. 